is uh, quite different from the uh, tester class. Uh, in fact, it is a, a passive class uh, because it does not uh, um, do any activity on its own, uh, but it uh, just um, it is used by uh, external classes. Uh, so this is uh, typical of uh, uh, the server style uh, class. So uh, uh, these uh, s uh, server classes uh, rely heavily uh, on their state uh, in order to understand how to uh, respond to um, to uh, requests from other classes. Uh, so it is useful uh, for debugging uh, to um, have a, a representation of the state and this can be done in a, in a table that holds uh, fields and their values. Uh, so for the engine uh, first um, at the initial state should be determined and this can be done by looking at the constructor uh, where uh, the fields are initialized and um, th uh, the question that can be made here is um, whether it is uh, um, meaningful to have a previous operator initialized uh, even when uh, um, the call to um, have a, an operator uh, is not yet made. Then um, the clear method uh, will uh, uh, be able to change the state and it uh, changes to um, change the, just the display value to zero and is uh, um, also um, uh, makes the question uh, uh, whether it is um, um, uh, uh, it is, uh, brings the question uh, why only uh, the display value is uh, reset uh, when uh, it is expected that uh, a reset function uh, will um, uh, clear uh, every other value stored in other fields. Uh, then the number pressed um, uses uh, at the uh, current display value and multiplies it by 10 and then adds the uh, number uh, and this uh, correctly uh, simulates the um, appending of uh, um, a new digit uh, uh, to uh, a number uh, uh, because it shifts to the left the all the digit uh, so this is correct then uh, there is the plus method that is called and this one uh, calls another method, apply previous operator. So um, uh, this is the time to decide uh, whether to uh, follow the uh, nested calls or uh, break off and continue uh, on uh, looking at the method. Uh, 
but uh, for this case where um, the state uh, of of the object uh, needs to be um, followed, uh, needs to be uh, represented in the table. Um, it, it is clear that uh, the decision is to uh, go uh, into the nested uh, call uh, and um, apply previous operator um, changes the um, left operand value and um, uh, this also gives the, the, the answer to uh, the question uh, uh, of the initial value of um, uh, previous operator and uh, um, it is basically uh, not really needed uh, because uh, uh, it, 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 there is only uh, a check for uh, uh, previous operator uh, that, that is a plus or a minus. Uh, then uh, this will be uh, now uh, returning to the plus method. The previous operator will be plus, display value zero. Um, so now all the uh, fields have a state and now uh, the walkthrough can be can be completed um, So, uh, the next calls will be number pressed equals and get display value. So, Basically, uh, so there was um, so the fields uh, display value. previous operator and left operand so this one will uh, so previously we had uh, zero plus and three and now The number pressed method is called. 
So display value gets updated. Um, so now it's four. Previous operator stays the same, and the left operand stays the same. Now the equals method is called. So this will uh, change the display value to be four and uh, no, uh, three plus four, so it will be seven now. Uh, the left operand is set to zero and previous operator stays the same. Now get display value is gold which just returns display value so the state doesn't change so this is the complete state table now the next exercise asks uh, if there are assurances about the default value of pins operator um, um, for the enforcement is better So it seems that it's needed to no, wait. Um, so let's see. Mm, if previous operator is has a default value, uh, uh, that is the empty string then uh, a subtraction will be made uh, and uh, this is not possible if the previous operator um, is an empty string so basically n no, no computation should be made Uh, then uh, a call to clear uh, is next. We had a call to clear, so display value will be zero and the other fields will stay the same but this is not the same as uh, the previous call to clear which had an empty string in the previous operator instead of uh, plus. So the impact that this can have is 
that it's that um, if equals uh, is called uh, if equals is called again Mm. Then it will give a, a, an addition of display value and left operand. I think that's the only impact. Now the changes. What changes should be made? Mm, I don't know. I think that here instead of an else there should be if previous operator equals minus They think you will not change anything in the world too. No. So let's see if uh, another plus is called uh, then uh, the apply previous operator is called And so since the previous operator is a plus the left operand and display value are added. Mm. They are added and they are put into left to print. So I think that only the equals uh, 
should uh, uh, add or subtract so I don't know exactly what changes should be made. Um, maybe. Maybe the previous operator should not be initialized anymore. Because I have changed the previous operator. Minus one. The minus. Okay. Okay, move it. Okay, I think that that's it. That's all the changes that can be made. Even though they are not crucial. So now, how will this change from the previous uh, table? So the initial state now it's uh, the same zero zero, but the previous operator doesn't exist. It's not initialized yet. Then uh, the clear method will make this play value zero. Uh, left top run zero. Previous operator previous operator is not initialized. Uh, number pressed uh, will make display value b3 the left open is 0 previous operator is not initialized and now uh, with plus so there is a call to apply previous operator um, since previous operator is not equal to plus nor a minus, then left operand equals display value. Display value, which is uh, was it? Uh, display value um, was 3 no way so 3 is now assigned to left operand so it's 3 then uh, the plus method is continued uh, previous operator now is uh, initialized to plus and the display value becomes uh, zero then uh, number pressed the display value is four then everything else stays the same then there is the equals method
uh, the previous operator is plus so display values becomes left operand plus display value this is 7 uh, left operand becomes 0 and the previous operator stays the same then there is this get display value which doesn't change the state so it will stay 7 plus 0 okay then This is a new world too. So again, the display value. This is operator. And um, left top line. Those are the fields. So first, the initial state the previous operator is uh, not initialized um, display value is 0 and left operand is 0 uh, clear doesn't change the state well, it actually makes this play value have a value of 0, but it already had. Um, then number press 9. So this play value will be 9. Previous operator still not initialized. And left operator still 0. Plus goes to apply previous operator uh, so it's not initialized so left top run is equal to display value um, then return to plus previous operator is plus mm, then display value set to zero now number press one so this becomes one and these two stay the same now minus goes to apply previous operator and previous operator is plus so the left operand is added 1 so it becomes 10 uh, previous operator oh wait we, we, uh, Now, now it returns to minus. Previous operator is now changed to minus. And the display value is zero. Number pressed four, 
so now it's four. Uh, this stays minus and this stays ten. Now equals is called and the previous operator is minus. So the left top end minus display value is then minus four. So it's 6, and this gets assigned to display value. And um, previous operator is minus, and left operand is set to 0. So the result should be okay, so it's 9 minus 1 plus, uh, no, it's 9 plus 1 minus 4. So it will be 6 and uh, the engine shows in display value the correct answer so it behaves correctly then th there is another um, uh, uh, type of walk through which is the verbal walk through and uh, this is done with a uh, uh, person that uh, uh, preferably uh, doesn't know much about uh, uh, the class or the method and uh, as, uh, to be, uh, to, uh, this class or method is uh, uh, um, explained to this person uh, so that uh, uh, this person can point out the error or uh, by just um, uh, putting into words what the uh, class or method uh, should actually do uh, will make uh, it uh, w work out what uh, um, makes it uh, um, uh, not doing uh, that work. Uh, 